going on guys, Darkly327 or Informer Modding here today with a brand new tutorial. Uh, this one I'm actually going to be focusing on Cane Enable as well. Um, it's just going to be a quick tutorial. Uh, there's been a lot of problems that people have been having with Cane on my last tutorial. So I kind of want to fix that up uh, and get that fixed for you guys. Um, so basically what's happening is people who keep getting zero 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 when they click on the configure button so when they click configure here they keep getting zero 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 in this IP address and I don't really know why you guys are getting that if you guys downloaded the win cappy version or win win pcap version then you shouldn't be getting this problem but I again some of you are so I'm not really sure why exactly and it just crashed because I'm using a bridge connection right now but Today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to fix that, and it should work. Uh, I, I I don't think I'll be able to show you guys exactly uh, how to fix this because my cane doesn't work on a bridge connection because I'm trying to use Dex. So if I actually if I disable my connection right now, I should be able to use it. Again, if it uh, doesn't work, then I'll just uh, do it verbally. Yeah, so it's not going to work. So how to fix this actually is I, I discovered this. I haven't seen anybody else doing this. Uh, I actually figured this out myself while trying to fix it for somebody else. But what you want to do is you actually want to just go to control. I uh, have it open here. Go to control panel. Click on network and internet. Go to network and sharing center. Now, when you're here, what you want to do is click on change adapter settings. So once you're here... What you want to do is, that's my bridge connection here, because I'm, I'm using Dex on my jailbroken PS3. But what you want to do is you want to right click on your uh, actual, um, you want to right click on your connection, you just want to click on properties. Now once you click on properties, um, since I have to do it on my bridge connection, uh, if you're using Wi-Fi, click on properties, if you're using internet, uh, Ethernet, just click on properties, it'll both work. Uh, in the second dialog box, you'll see Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, uh, IP4. Uh, IPv4 uh, you just want to double click on this and when this pops up you want to click on advanced then you want to go over to the DNS section now this is uh, this is what you gotta do what you gotta do is you actually gotta click use this connections DNS suffix in DNS registration so this will just allow Kane to get your DNS uh, information or something like that and I'll just allow you to use Kane uh, I can't explain it better than that but that's basically uh, how it works um, now, if this doesn't work for you, then I'm not too sure how to fix it. I just discovered this uh, while helping somebody else, like I said. Um, let's see if Kane will open up here. I doubt it will, but let's see. Yep, no, it won't. But when it opens up, just go to configure again, and uh, you should have an IP that's popped up. What you want to do is click that. Now, another... Uh, click that and then click apply and OK. Another problem that people are having is that it doesn't read their PS3 or uh, Xbox IP or PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360 IP. Now, now what the problem is is actually because your PlayStation IP either is not in the range as the IP of your uh, your router or something like that so what you want to do is on ps3 uh you want to go over to when you're on the xmb and this is going to be similar for every console but when you're on the uh xmb or whatever go into network settings then you want to go to internet connection settings once you're here you want to go and do a custom method and then select what uh, type of connection you're using i'm using a wireless connection so i'm going to click on wireless you want to either uh, just enter your your uh, wireless internet name, or you could uh, just scan it. I scanned it, and I'm going to put my password. Sorry, guys, I can't get you a visual, but... Alright, so once you have your password in, you want to just continue. When this happens, uh, when you get to uh, IP address settings or something around the lines of changing your IP address, what you want to do is on your PS3 or sorry, on your PC, type in CMD. This is for Windows 10, by the way. Windows 7, it should work no problem. Windows 8, yeah. Windows Vista should be working no problem. But type in CMD, and when you're here, uh, type in IP config forward slash all. So when this pops up, you want to look for your uh, default gateway under your whatever connection type you're using. So my default gateway is 192.168.1.1. So what you got to do is you actually got to when you do set up your IP address, you want to set it up so your IP address is 192. For me, it'll be 
Here, let's try to make this bigger. Okay, well that didn't help, but see that number right there? It's going to be the same thing as that, but the last number is going to be something completely bizarre, completely different from that. So, uh, once you do that, you want to have, for, for me, let, let's say it's 10, 0, 0, 1, your default gateway. So what you want to do is type in 10, 0, 0, and then for the last number, you want to choose something completely at random. So I'm going to do something very high in numbers. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do 99, because 99, usually things don't use that IP address. And if you're using the same IP address as something that's already in your cane enabled, then it will not pick up, which is another problem that somebody else is having. So I fixed that for them. But then you want to go 1010 or 10009. Let's say your IP address is 1841671111. Uh, uh, yeah, 111. So you want to type in one eight, whatever I said, and then the last number just make it something at complete random. And then for the default router, you want to put what it is on your screen. So mine is 192.168.11. And then for primary DNS, this is uh, another problem that people are having, is put it to 8, 8, 8, 8. And then for secondary DNS, if you have the option, or alternate DNS, make it 8, 8, 4, 4. Now that's actually the Google, uh, Google's DNS, so it should work no problem. But yeah, that's basically how you do it, guys. Um, hopefully I were able to help you out. Um, on PS3, just run the, the test the connection button, and it should be able to uh, attain the IP address. If it doesn't, then... PM me on Skype and I'll be sure to help you out. Uh, I know I helped out a few people with this problem and I'm uh, glad to help you out, guys. If you guys have any problem whatsoever, just PM me and I'll help you out. Uh, so that's basically it for this video, guys. I'm sorry I couldn't put you uh, in a visual with my PS3 or Kane Enable because both of them do not work. But that is it for this video, guys. Hopefully I was able to help you guys out. Please don't forget to go check out my other video if you haven't seen it. Um, just to get caught up in the can enable situation I go in depth on how to set it up to your PS3 and your Xbox and whatnot and uh, yeah so that's basically for this video guys please don't forget to drop a like and I'll see you guys in another one yeah. also guys use code informer at checkout on cinchgaming.com to receive 5% off your purchase the link is in the description